everybody, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando and I make all shop with me videos. I have a series called Target Tuesday. I do shopping hauls. I'd love to show you what is new at all of our favorite stores like Target, Home Goods, Walmart, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. So if you love seeing the new merchandise at the stores as well as seasonal decor and shopping hauls, you're definitely gonna love it here. So please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. I am so excited about today's video. Today is episode two of my collab with Loving Life as Megan. All of her info will be linked down below, but if for some reason you have not heard of Megan, she does homemaking videos, DIY budget transformation makeover videos of her whole house. She also is like the queen of cleaning motivation. So if you love those types of videos, you're definitely gonna wanna head over to her channel and subscribe. And like I said, all of that info will be linked for you down below. In this video specifically, we will be covering bathroom as well as closet. In my case, it is a decor closet, but in most people's cases, it would probably be a guest closet. But we all know I shop for home decor for a living, so you have to imagine I have quite the stockpile. So in this video specifically, we will be shopping for organization for my guest bedroom closet as well as my guest bathroom. And after you watch this video, you need to head over to Megan's channel to see her actually put it all in action. Our house looks amazing. We couldn't be happier. I'm so thrilled that we were able to film this collab. I really hope that you guys have just as much fun watching it as we did filming and working and collabing together. And we're gonna head to the stores and shop for guest closet and guest bathroom organization. All right, let's go. So we just checked out over in like the office section, like all the like makeup and jewelry organizers. This can be another good place to find stuff. But Megan says that the best secret place is in the bathroom section. Yeah. So we're gonna head to the bathroom section. So I love these ones, but after brainstorming, we can't really think of anything that we could actually like functionally do with them, even though I really love the look of them. So just wanted to show them to you in case you like them as well. And you can think of something you could do with them in your house. Okay, so we just found these little like bamboo containers, but they have like linen in them as well. They have three sizes and she's going climbing, but they do have three of each. So we were just walking down this aisle and Katie was like, <gasps> and then <laughs> we came to these baskets right here that she already just showed you. And which is good because that means she's getting excited about something. And um, it's also like a good teaching lesson, I guess that if you, I've been telling her this whole time, like if you don't love the way it looks or you don't love the organization that you've got going on, it won't be sustainable. And so even if you've saved money on some of your containers, it'll be a waste of money because you won't keep up with it. So even though these are actually a little bit pricier than what I would personally go for, that's just because my priority is cheap. Like I just <laughs> want to be as cheap as possible. Katie has a very specific aesthetic and her apartment is gorgeous and it's all very cohesive so that's clearly a priority to her to have things pretty and cohesive so we found this set there's like three and three different sizes and one of the areas that i'm going to be organizing for her is like this like linen storage closet i guess in her guest bathroom and that's where they keep a lot of like extra shower curtains towels hand towels she's got a massive collection of candles in there <laughs> and also like random shower curtains and stuff <laughs> so these will be really great for that and having the three different sizes um we can kind of mix and match them on the different shelves in in there so two of these middle sizes will fit nicely next to each other on one shelf that type of thing so we're really maximizing on the storage area there but then we also have things like small candles could fit in this small one as well as hand towels and washcloths could fit in a small one this middle one would be perfect for her guest towels she said that she has four of them and so if we fold them properly four would fit beautifully in here and create a nice aesthetic extra toilet paper would be perfect in this large one here so um, there's just so many different ways that we can use them and because she loves them so much if the organization at some point does not become functional for her or she just wants to change it up in those areas she starts accumulating more items then she'll be able to repurpose these bins elsewhere in her home either as decor or organization in a different room instead of just having to donate them to goodwill be out that money and then having to start all over again so we are just about to check out and head over to Target because that's my favorite place <laughs> ever <laughs> um, but Katie actually spotted this from like 
way away. We were, I'm thinking we're just going to check out. And then she, there were people here and she was like, oh, we actually want to get right there, but no rush, take your time. And so that when they moved, we were looking at these. And it says it's a weave bin organizer set. They have the same kind of like, I guess weave pattern on some of the organization that you can find at Target as well. But I don't think they have anything that is um, like, has as many items as this in a single set that are all cohesive together. And I was telling Katie, this is a great one-stop shop for things like guest bathroom organization or um, even like linen closet organization and things like that. As long as you're okay with this kind of aesthetic or you're just, you're prioritizing the functionality or something like that, this is perfect because these bins are so versatile and there are so many of them. So like you see a picture here where they're using them for like q-tips and rubber bands office supplies and then like random sunglasses and a watch and they're showing you a picture like this just because they want you to see how versatile this set is but you totally could use this for like cotton rounds and makeup remover wipes and things like that and then another of them for feminine hygiene products uh, the larger one could be used for extra washcloths and things like that there are so many things that you can use these for and so many ways that you can use them and it's a really great price can you see the price on camera yeah okay so it's only $12.99 and there are nine pieces in this set so that's just like a little over a dollar each which is really perfect for if you are wanting to organize a space like that where you have a lot of different little things or if you have two spaces you want to organize and you don't have that many things this would be perfect one-stop shop over in the basket section now they have so many good baskets for like linen closet organization and stuff like that we already got some as you guys saw i just wanted to show these for another option they're a great price too these are ten dollars a piece for all the ones that they have right here and they're just really nice and they feel like really nice quality and these are threshold Megan is just showing me all this stuff I've never seen at Target before, which might sound impossible to believe. Right behind me, they have these room essentials, which I feel like is a brand that you hear a lot about in like the back to school time, college, dorm, that sort of thing. But they have these bins that you get two for $2. They have a couple different sizes, but these ones specifically. And they're great for like in drawer organization. She was also saying that she uses these ones where you get three for $2 for like Go-Gurts in her freezer because the material they are, they do really well in cold climates as well. So another really good idea, you could do like popsicles, you could do the skinny freezers that I showed in last week's Target Tuesday. They would also fit perfect in here and you'd have some like freezer organization. They also have this small size, so you get four of them for $2. These would be perfect for like costume jewelry, maybe Q-tips or bobby pins, hair ties, little things that kind of escape you. These would be a perfect home for them. The height of them is perfect for like indoor organization. And then also keep in mind, it does come in pink, white, and gray. So a couple of different color options there. Just in case you wanna see a little bit of an overview of like the different sizes and the colors. Like I said, peach, more of like a peachy pink, white, and gray we are in the aisle with the cube organizer so threshold makes like a little bit of nicer quality ones that hold bigger cubes and then there are room essentials ones as well that hold smaller cubes these ones are a little bit cheaper i think i am going to go ahead and check walmart i do want to get one that has the bigger cubes that way we can fit bigger items in each one to really like maximize the organization in each cube but this is something we're thinking about doing in the guest bedroom closet so here is a little bit of a size difference so these are the ones with the smaller cubes you'll also notice as well the quality difference so here is this one and these ones just have a little metal ring that you pull out and then the bigger one you have a lot of different options so you can do like nice wicker storage baskets and then just different options for like designs and pull handles and stuff so there's definitely a ton of options there so it's going to be kind of like whether you want bigger cubes smaller cubes and whatever your preference is 
So this is another option for something you can do in like the cube organizer. This is cool too because you can just easily reach in and see what is in there. They're a little bit more expensive. This is $20. This one is also $20 and then they do have like smaller options as well. You could do like on top or on like a top shelf of a closet. These are actually over in the pillow fort section but this is definitely another option you could do for like cube storage organization if you're trying to keep a certain aesthetic or something. I actually really really like these ones but I do think they're a bit pricey especially since it will just be in my closet they're also made to stack on top of each other so that's really cool as well you could also if you wanted to glue them and do like a stacking shelf with like the big ones you could do like a DIY shelf that's another idea you could do with those as far as aesthetic goes I am definitely trying to keep a really specific aesthetic in our guest bathroom because it's already really strong and I feel like that guest area is an area that's like high traffic for guests and I just want to keep it nice and keep that theme that I have going in there as far as like closets and things like that I don't care as much about the aesthetic as well as the pantry I do want things to be cohesive and match but the overall aesthetic as far as like where I'm kind of spending more money on the organization is definitely the guest bathroom can't film a home organization video without checking out the Mecca let's head into Ikea so they have this really cute wine rack I really really like this it's super simple of course you do have to put it together and there's like a million pieces but it looks really really simple and it's only ten dollars not going to pick this up because we purposefully took the wine rack out so that we could put our bubblies in where this goes but this is a really really good storage solution for wine really really good price if you're looking here is a cube organizer that they have here I love this basket who's surprised shock shock these are $11.99 a piece for these I'm obsessed with this whole thing. I think I need this with four of these. <laughs> this is so nice. They do also have it in a black option as well. And then they have other cool ones too. They have like these metal ones that kind of look like lockers. They have this like pull out shelf organization, kind of like a filing cabinet. And then they have this one too, which kind of reminds me of like old parquet floors so we found the four cube organizer here it is $34.99 I feel like this is a good in between of like the nice one at Target versus like the lower priced one like this is a really good in between and they have really really nice like bin organizers for it so this is definitely an option they only had three of those bin organizer like cube things that I liked so that's the only reason I didn't like immediately grab this because they only had three which might be okay but also might look a little bit weird you guys know always have to check the as is section we're specifically checking these little shelves for other things we could use for organization this is here it's not like a really that good on sale plus it's made out of cardboard so it's really difficult to open and close would be really good for organizing like even craft supplies or small little stuff like that or like tools like I have a lot of like hanging sets so like maybe a sewing kit hanging set little things like that but it's not a good enough sale and it's not great quality they do have three of these dressers as is $125 you could definitely add legs and hardware to give them like a really nice look that's like a super easy IKEA hack to make all the IKEA furniture look a lot nicer and more expensive this is originally $179 down to $125 and you don't have to put it together, it's already assembled. Hey guys, what is up? It is filming day. Megan is on her way, I'm so excited, but I wanted to briefly show you the before to get you really excited about what that after is going to look like. Here is a before of the guest bathroom. Our guest bathroom is one of my favorite areas in the entire apartment, but she's going to be organizing this closet, so the bottom part as well as the top. Oh my gosh, I have candles like there, there, probably some under there. So she's gonna be organizing all of this. And then here is the guest bedroom closet. There is really no organization going on in here. This is honestly like my decor overspill area. And she is going to be helping us out a ton in this area as well. I went to Walmart and I did get a cube organizer for the closet, so I'll put those clips in here. Okay, I'm at Walmart. If it looks a little bit different, I'm vlogging on my phone because for once in my life, I went somewhere and didn't bring my camera. But I'm gonna get a cube organizer for the closet. The Better Home and Garden one are honestly nice. They have it in white and then this like wood finish as well. And I'm not sure which one I want to get. Okay, so I'm looking at their options for the cube organizers. 
And I really like these ones that are like this kind of like leathery textured with the wood. But again, same thing as Ikea, they only have three. I like these ones as well. These actually go pretty well with like the aesthetic of the guest bedroom. The guest bedroom is an area in our house which is still like the most farmhouse because it's all the stuff from my old bedroom that I have kept. So honestly, these would work too. And these are pretty nice, but these ones, are definitely my favorite. I just found this one and I like this one a lot as well, but they only have one. I would even consider doing like two and two, but they only have one of these. Honestly, it's gonna be like in our closet. So these are honestly like way cute enough, but they do have some really, really nice options here. This is what this one will look like with these. These are the cube organizers that I like. So this is what the white will look like with that cube organizer. And then this is what this one looks like. Hmm, I'm not sure. And then here's a better look. If you like, don't look at those of that with that. Ugh, I'm not loving it, I don't know. And then this is what the black looks like, which I really like that. I think the black is gonna look really nice in the wooden one, because I'm pretty sure this wood is like the same color. Ugh, yes, that is super, super nice. If only they had four. I may just go ahead and, I may just go ahead and get like really cheap ones for now that are like $5. They have just like more plain linen ones and then get like nicer ones if I want to from like Target or they had really cute ones at Ikea. So I think I'm just gonna get like really cheap ones for now that just do the job. Cause like I said, it's just gonna be in a closet. So it like really doesn't matter. Okay, I wanted to do a quick haul of what we picked up for the bathroom, the guest bathroom, as well as this guest closet. We did pick up three of these bins. We got one of each size, so we actually got six, but we got two of each of the three sizes. Sorry, that is super confusing. I just love the look of them. We'll be able to use these in multiple different places in this closet as well as in the guest bathroom. So we did pick up two sets of the three different sized bins. We also decided to pick up these two plastic storage bins with the bamboo lids. Um, we think that maybe like feminine products like tampons or other like women's products or potentially in the guest bathroom for little extra items for them like extra toothpaste, feminine products anything that a guest may need and then in this we're thinking about for my candles I have a lot of candles so this is a really good height to be able to do all the different candles like on here and we'll be able to utilize vertical space with this so these are the items we picked up for the guest bathroom and this closet right here to organize those areas this is what we picked up today like we said in these we're thinking about doing like extra toilet paper i have a couple extra shower curtains or like linens face cloths guest towels those sorts of things as well as one of them will probably end up being for like miscellaneous items that don't necessarily have a home but they will in our miscellaneous bin okay megan is here now and she brought so many more goodies like i told you guys she actually was collecting stuff at home because she knew that we were gonna be filming this collab, so she collected stuff that she thought I might like and got some more stuff at Target. So these baskets are actually from Target. We showed them. She actually decided to go back and pick them up. Like I said before, keep in mind that we may not keep all of this stuff. Whatever we don't use is definitely gonna get returned. She also picked up these. These are from the Pillow Fort Kids section. These are some nice little wooden boxes. So many cool things. These are from the Target Dollar Spot, brand, brand new to the Target Dollar Spot. So that is super fun as well. Just some really, really great finds. I'm very excited to get this project started. That is not even all of it. More of the stuff that I showed you before is like still in the guest room on the bed. So many awesome items are gonna go into this project and I'm so excited for you guys to see the after but you're definitely gonna have to check out her channel to see the after. Alrighty, you guys, that is gonna be it from us today. If you wanna see the after of our guest closet as well as our guest bathroom, you're gonna have to head over to Megan's channel. I will have the video, her channel, and everything linked down below. I will also link a bunch of the organization products that we used and considered down in the box below. So if you're looking for any links, go ahead and check there. And if for some reason one that you want isn't there, go ahead and leave me a comment and I will get that link for you. 
Thank you so much to Megan for collabing with me on these videos. Seriously, I had the best time. I feel like our friendship has really grown, especially over the last few weeks, and I'm just so grateful to her for filming this collab with me. Make sure you go straight from here to check out her channel. But that is gonna be it for me. If you guys haven't yet, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.